The following may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Prisoner escapes from Chaloni Family Court. Chaloni police have launched a manhunt for a man who escaped from police custody on Thursday, February 25th. Reports are that about 2.15 p.m., the man identified as Howard Fraser, a taxi operator of Zion, Martha Bray Trelawney, was in custody for breach of protection orders when he fled while he was awaiting trial at the Trelawney family court. A manhunt has since been launched. The police are appealing to anyone with information on the whereabouts of Howard Fraser to contact the Falmouth Criminal Investigation Branch at 876-954-3073, Police 119 Emergency Number, Crime Stop at 311, or the nearest police station. Meanwhile, the police are reminding members of the public that it is a criminal offense to harbor fugitives. Parents charged after drugs found hidden in child's suitcase at Pearson International Airport. Two accused drug smugglers secreted narcotics in their children's luggage earlier this month, border officials allege. The arrest was made at Pearson International Airport on February 7th when the accused and their two children aged 10 and 12 were pulled into secondary screening. Four had just arrived on a flight from Montego Bay, Jamaica. An examination of their luggage yielded 1.6 million in drugs, including nearly 8 kilos of cocaine, 93 kilos of marijuana, and 218 grams of hashish. A quantity of cannabis was found concealed inside the 12-year-old child's luggage. The couple from Branton was charged with drug importation and conspiracy charges by the RCMP. Peel Children's Services took custody of the children and placed them with relatives. Both adults are released on bail pending their next court appearances. Saint Anne Man Fatally Shot on Mandela Highway a St. Anne man fell victim to gunman's bullets on Mandela Highway in St. Catherine on Thursday evening. Reports indicated that Gregory Lawrence of Bamboo St. Anne was shot by men traveling on a motorcycle at about 6.30 p.m. while he drove a black Toyota Tundra SUV motor truck along the busy Mandela Highway. On reaching the vicinity of Caymanus Crossing, two men reportedly drove up on a motorbike and opened gunfire into the vehicle that was being driven by Lawrence. The impact of the bullets tore open a significant section of a side window of the SUV. A female who was traveling in the targeted vehicle was also shot and injured during the attack. A police investigation has been launched into the development. Sentencing of mother and daughters involved in the murder of Tamara Geddes postponed. The lack of a criminal record forced the postponement of a sentencing of the mother and two daughters who recently pleaded guilty to the murder of 36-year-old Tamara Geddes of Reserve District Falmouth in the Trelawney Circuit Court on Friday. The deceased woman's sister, Nadine Geddes, a Trelawney farmer, and her two daughters, one a minor, pleaded guilty to Tamara's killing when they appeared in the same court on February 8th. Tamara was shot dead in her home by a gunman on Friday, June 19, 2020. Over months of extensive coordinated investigations across Trelawney, St. James, Westmoreland and the corporate area, detectives arrested and laid charges against the sister of the deceased and her two daughters. 21-year-old Shanice Ruddock and a 15-year-old. Along with 24-year-old Brian Shelley, 23-year-old Rexton North, both of Norwood St. James, and Owen Irving and 33-year-old Tashana Young, both also of St. James addresses. Knott was freed when he appeared in court on February 8th due to insufficient evidence to mount a viable case against him in court. 
Reports from the Falmouth Police were that on June 19th at about 8.30 p.m., Tamara Geddes was in her room with her daughter when a gunman entered the house, demanded money, and then shot the mother several times. The daughter escaped unhurt. The police were alerted and Tamara was taken to a hospital where she was pronounced dead. On Tuesday, July 14th, Nadine Geddes, along with both of her daughters and Owen Irving, were arrested and charged in connection with the murder of Tamara Geddes. The other accused persons were subsequently arrested and charged by investigators. On Friday, the judge ruled that the matter be postponed until next Tuesday after it was disclosed that the antecedent for Ruddock was not present in court. Police raid big party in Kingston. Members of the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch, PSTEB, of the police force conducted a raid along Slypen Road in Kingston, where an illegal party was in session on Wednesday, February 25th. Reports are that between the hours of 7.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m., a team of law enforcers conducted the raid and found hundreds of persons in attendance at the party. The promoter of the event was warned for prosecution under the Disaster Risk Management Act and the Noise Abatement Act. Investigations are ongoing into the incident.